December um, 27th and I just wanted to share and do like a, a video of all the goodies I got since today is my birthday. Um, yay! So, um, I just went to Sephora and I got this big bag of goodies. So, let's dive into it. And there's also like some other things I've gotten as gifts or I purchased myself. These two Wet n Wild um, Mega Kush foundation. I bought, um, two shades since sometimes I'm lighter or sometimes I have self tan or I can also mix them. So I got in nude beige, which is light to medium warm and also light ivory, which is a light neutral. So I'm excited to try these out. I say new, but I'm pretty sure I've heard of them, but it says contains natural, natural coconut. So that's nice. Luminous, lightweight and buildable hydrating formula. And I always like to, um, have a hydrating formula so I'm really excited to try that out and then I also got this L'Oreal True Match um, Lumi Glotion which is like a lotion um, I've been looking for like a body um, lotion that's like kind of luminous not glitter um, I want that like glow from within kind of look you know um, but I do not want like the glitter so we'll see how this works and I got medium. It's 903, I think. So, yeah. Um, I also got this um, Benefit What's What's Up, not What's Up, um, Soft Focus Highlighter for Face. So, I haven't opened it yet, but this is what it looks like. So, I'm just gonna have to do a video while trying that out. Um, I never, it's a highlighter. Light up your best features with the shimmering rose gold highlighter. Okay. I thought it was a primer for some reason. My bad, let me get this. Alright. Looks pretty cool. I mean, I think it's supposed to look like a light bulb. I'll have to try that out. Sorry, I like, keep looking. Everything keeps falling. I don't know why. And also, I've um, purchased this e.l.f. putty primer. Um, I've used it twice already, so, I mean, I guess this is purchases of December. But I really like this. Um, I just put it right here on where I feel like I have enlarged pores, and I'm really liking it thus far. It's, it's really good. And then I also bought, it's already dirty, the um, Tartius Pro Glow. Um, I ordered this online and off of Macy's because I think it's originally like $42 or $45. And it was on sale for $22. So I was like, I couldn't pass that up. But um, it did arrive broken. Like, I don't know if you see, these two shades were broken. And I've just been like pressing it down, trying to savor it. I really do like this cream shade. I use it as my nose contour and maybe like a natural looking bronze with tapping it with my finger but I've also I'm wearing these two even though it's a highlighter I've been wearing these two shades on my lid. I don't know if you can see right now but I really like it also on the lid. It really brightens up my face. I have small almond shaped eyes just because um I'm part Thai and that's just how my face is so anything to like make my eyes look more open I really like um, so my mom she actually got this for me um, I love elf I don't care what anyone else says if it's so cheap but I think it's really good quality um, it's also cruelty free a lot of it I think it's vegan most of them or all of their products are um, and they're affordable and accessible to everybody. So, I mean, like, you don't have to buy expensive things to look nice. So, it's a makeup mist and set, two times the original. So, this must be a new one. So, I'm really excited to try this one out also. And I got the Benefit Boing, I think is what it's called. Industrial Strength Concealer. Uh, this looks like a little school eraser. Um, you name it. 
Boing hides it. This full coverage stay put concealer covers everything from dark circles to blemishes and discoloration, which I just have like, I don't want to say bags, they're just dark. Um, also affects like if how much water I drink. So it comes in like a little, little case like this, so. Doesn't have a smell. I'm excited to try that. I the only thing I've tried from Benefit is the Professional Primer, and their I think it's called High Beam Highlighter. I've tried that. I didn't really like that. Care for that that much. I also got a Wet n Wild Loose Highlighting Powder. I don't know if you can see it, but like it looked really beautiful on the shelf to me. I got this at Target. And it was only like four five ninety nine, and I got I'm so lit. It was like the one that was like it's like a champagne color. They had a lighter one, and then I think they had two that were darker. So they had f about four that you know it's kind of almost for everybody. But I just want to try it out. I've never tried a loose highlighter before, so. And my mom also got me this glow kit. Um, as you can tell, I like e.l.f. Like, I don't know. And I just like their packaging. It's it's simple. Like, I love it. So this is e.l.f. plus glow kit. Includes a jelly highlighter and bubbly. Um, a glow primer stick and glow dewy mist. And I've actually been wanting to try this dewy mist. Because I, like I said, I like their mist anyways. So I'm really excited to try that and this glow primer stick because since I like the um, glow from within, it's illuminating coconut and shea butter infused primer stick hydrates and preps your skin with the radiant golden shimmer for a smooth lit from within right up my alley. So I'm really excited to try these products. So good job, mom. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I also got the Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette. Like, I thought these colors were great for anything, and they also just, like, made me think of New Year's, so. I think it's cute. This was uh, $25. I got this at Sephora. Of it's course. cute. Like, you don't have a big palette. And this is, like, I would just love to just throw my bag or in my traveling bag I think that's great and what yeah the mini nude palette okay I just wanted to make sure I said what the palette shade was and then I got another Natasha Denona the mini sunset palette this one is more like I like they're more peachy colors I like this too I don't I always stick stick to nude course I can't get it off can't do anything with nails but they're cute so I get them oh yes so it's really cute I gravitate to this one a lot in these but I can use all those on my lid actually so I'm really excited to try all this stuff like new me fresh me for the new year I've been just not letting myself go but just being in my more natural state and I just forgot how much I liked makeup and doing my makeup so lately I've been doing it and I mean when you look good you feel good and that is very true so I also got this Becca primer set and glow kit um, I've never tried anything from Becca and I think this might be like travel or small size but I got it because it was only $15 at Sephora Well, they're not that tiny but like this is kind of regular size and this is too instant complexion refresh um this is a little bit small but i mean for 15 dollars you cannot beat that it's like five a piece and that's like how much all my elf and wet wild well this was eight dollars but this was 4.99 i mean I don't think you can go wrong with that. So 
So let me put all that back. I'm just really excited. Like, for a while I haven't been um, wanting to do my makeup. I've been trying to like focus more on my skincare. Because for a while there my face was just going crazy. Um, obviously having a child and your hormones. So I think that's what it was. Cause now it's gone back down to normal so like when I put makeup on I don't feel like a bumpy road map you know so this was $15 and they still had a bunch of them there and I'm sure they're still gonna have a bunch of this Marc Jacobs uh, perfecting coconut face primer I love coconut I love the smell of coconut I love coconut rum I love <gasps> coconut oil like, I use everything. But this was... $45. So this was $45. The Becca was $15. Um, each of the Natasha Denona palettes were $25. I sell All Hours Foundation in Warm Almond. I, I like, get overwhelmed. I love foundation. But I get overwhelmed um, in the, this is what the bottle looks like. It's really nice and sturdy. Mm. I don't know. I don't know what that smell is. It's like, it's not perfume. It just smells like fresh. But I get overwhelmed looking at the foundations because even though they're all so different, at the same time, um, they just blur and look the same to me. So I just called one of the Sephora employees and just had them help me. And that was $54, which I don't, I think that's ridiculous for a foundation, but it was my birthday and my boyfriend was treating me. So I just, I guess splurged a little bit because he's like, no, go ahead, go ahead. And then I also got the Marc Jacobs, which I've been wanting this, the Omega Bronzer, the Coconut Perfect Tan. It is huge, and I know it'll take me a long time to use it. It says 24 months. Um, so I might have to use this every day to try to use it all before it expires. And that one was $49 also. So, And then I got the Laura Mercier. Um, translucent loose setting powder and it came with a little puff poof puff whatever you want to call it so this is what it looks like and what it came with and that was actually on sale I think it's normally let me see it's normally um it said 45 or 49 46 40 something between 45 and 49 but it was on sale for 39 it was 20 percent off so seven dollars off so yeah it was 46 dollars originally and then lastly i wanted to try this brand tatcha um just because it's um japanese skincare and i use a lot of korean skincare um obviously being asian like i love their skin also and that they like to protect their skin like always wearing umbrellas when they go outside to shield from the sun but um, especially since it's Korean based, I guess, or made or influenced, um, that's why I wanted to try it. And I really wanted this silk canvas, this right here, the full size. But the full size was, I think, $52, $54 by itself. And this whole kit was $60. So it comes with four items, um, a deep cleanser, which is this one, the water cream, which is an anti-aging and um, the silk canvas primer which is what I wanted and then the luminous dewy they're kind of small which I mean it'll still take a while at least a month or two to go through and I like this cute little box it says Tatcha I like the purple and the like flowers like this is how big the items are like, it'll still take you a month or two, maybe even three, to go through all this. So, this was $60, so each item was $15. So, I think that was a really good deal. I think this was, like, a Christmas. 
it says best seller set so I think it's really cute so that was all I got today and since it's almost the end of December and some other things that I also purchased throughout the month but I'm really excited to try all these, but really, like, I don't know why. But the thing I'm mostly excited to try for is this Glow Dewy Mist. So, yeah. So, um, stay tuned for my next video. I think I'm going to do a first impressions, um, new, or do, get ready with me with my new makeup or something. Something to the lines of that. But, yeah. So, thanks for watching.